I've been playing RuneScape on easy mode for two months and now it's gone. My beloved, it's just not the same anymore. Everything just feels so slow. To get through my withdrawals, I need a complete reset back to the bottom of the RuneScape ladder. So starting with absolutely nothing, I will kill one of every RuneScape boss only using the loot to make upgrades along the way. But there's a catch. I have to kill all of RuneScape's bosses in combat level order. Why? Well, I think it sounds fun and it adds to the adventure. I genuinely have no idea if this is even possible. My brothers don't die, we just want to see what, uh, I tell you I got to link me at the coffee shop. This is where it all begins. Our first boss on the ladder. Level 106 combat, Obor. Kicking this boss to death is going to be incredibly rough with no gear and no supplies. But it is possible, I think. Instantly a zero. Nice. I just need to get some good RNG on the hits and I should be able to do this. I need to conserve my prayer as well, so I'm going to flick. No! No, it was going so well. Come on. No way. One more hit. Yes! Oh, that's so good. That's so good. What do we get? This is so important. Oh, no. Best believe I'm taking absolutely everything from here. How much is this? The law runes. Oh, it's not looking good. 9.8k. We've got the big bones. And I've got the insult head to sell as well. Above 10k. What a win that is. The question is, what the hell do I buy? for just under 11k. Well, first I'll get some wines to recharge my hit points. Hit points won't be the issue because they're so cheap, but prayer definitely will be. Right, let me just chug all these down. I'll be ready to drive in a second. The issue is a prayer potion is my entire budget right now, pretty much. But the first thing I need to buy is a spade and that indicates where I'm headed to next. What a legendary setup right there. I have this accumulator. I think it's necessary for me to be able to keep all of these rune arrows. 40 rune arrows to spare. I've also got some fire strikes as well. Well, next stop, the Barrows Brothers. Combat level 115. I think I'm going to need to start on Aram and Carol here and then see what I can do with Fire Strike on the rest of them. I don't have any prayer potions. That's a good start. 19 off the start. Oh, we're smoking it. Okay, that was actually way more powerful than I thought. That's really, really good news. Will I be able to hit? That's the question. Oh, I do. A 15. Okay, wow. That is unexpected. Wait, <laughs> wait, what? I should have just bought more rune arrows. What am I doing? I'm flicking for my life on this one prayer point, man. Okay, I'm out of prayer. Now, what is the plan? I think I just have to run around and shoot them. It's gonna work. I can trap him on the chest like this. Okay, that should be it. There we are. He's down. Get my rune arrows. I need all of them I can get. I'm on 23. Okay, so I probably I'm gonna have to fire strike a little bit. This guy. No, someone came down while I'm doing this. He's gonna look at me like, what the hell is this idiot doing? Right, very is down. Uh, let's just pray. Where is he? He's there. Run. With these torches, I should be good. Oh! One, two hits from the far torch. And then we run all the way around to this torch. There we go. Surely that's it. Yes! A six. Okay, please. Please send me out of poverty, Barry's chest. I need you right now. Oh my god. What is that? I got 20k. 20k to my name, an MSB, and a backpack. I'm actually gonna have to bite the bullet and buy a prayer potion. Oh, I hate to do it. That's half my cash stock. All right, new drip. I'm focusing on prayer bonus, so I don't use up this prayer potion too quickly. Plus 19, that's not bad. Okay, look at me. I'm ready to rock and roll. Briar Fighter, a free-to-play boss. Surely it should be fine. Briar Fighter, level 128, but it's gonna start scaling up really quickly, so I need a good loot here because I don't wanna be at some high-level stuff with pennies, please. Oh, it's hidden. Oh, that must be the worst drop on the entire table. Oh, what? This is a boss. The big bones are literally worth more than the grimy taramen, man. I'm selling my prayer potion. I'm buying a blighted soup for a store. I'm heading to the wilderness and each sip is going to be cheaper. This is not the look of a man that should be giving financial advice. Chaos Fanatic, level 202. Now, I think I can get straight into this and just go for it. Again, bit of a free round, but I don't mind a free round. I just need some good loot. Oh, come on. Pizza sold for 6k? Never mind. I'll take 6k. Add the bones. I need all the money I can get. All right, I'm selling off my range stuff because it's time to get a mage for a bit. That is not a big budget. The thing is with mage, the supply costs are damaging at this stage of the game, so I'm literally going to be fire striking. Next up, crazy archaeologist level 204. You know what? I think I've practically got best in slot at this point. Do you think if someone saw me right now, they could resist the urge to peek at me? Okay, here we go. Come on. Grimy dwarf weed. Surely they're worth something. 11k. Okay. <laughs> the standards have really dropped, haven't they? To 
Today's video partner is Square Enix, bringing you Final Fantasy XIV. Now, you may well have heard of Final Fantasy XIV as it's a huge MMORPG that's reached over 30 million players worldwide, and you can join in for free. The game has up to 16 different jobs that you can level up to 70 with absolutely no playtime restrictions. There are 20 jobs in the full game, with two more, the Pictomancer and the Viper, coming in the very exciting Dawn Trail expansion. The Pictomancer is really cool, you wield a specialised brush that renders imaginations into reality. The Dawn Trail expansion also includes a new playable race called the Female Hrothgar, and they've got amazing new regions such as Solution 9, a city of towering facades that looks absolutely incredible. A new raid series called Arcadion, a new ultimate raid, futures rewritten, and new dungeons to be explored. Path Infernal, a crossover quest with Final Fantasy 16, is coming in April, ahead of Dawn Trail. There is so much more to experience with the Dawn Trail expansion coming this summer, so start your free trial of Final Fantasy XIV today using the link in the description. I have to go all in on Ice Axe. I'm not even joking. Every single last penny. 50 Ice Axe. Scorpia level 225. Ice Axe definitely economical for the freeze, but they do cost a lot of money, so I'm spending my entire bank on this kill pretty much. Every single cast is 500 GP, which is quite a lot to me right now. Please, let it be dead. There we go. Okay, I've got 16 sacks left. That's my bag. Plus a phoenix necklace. Okay. So <laughs> it's 2k, man. The remaining sacks. Oh, we're actually less than 10k again, aren't we? Yep. When all else fails, it's time to whip out the doggy. My next adventure is the Giant Mole. The Giant Mole, level 230, is in the string of easier bosses, but at some point, I'm going to have to make some money. I'm under no illusions. I know this can't be anything that good. Air, air runes, mole skins, mole claws. That's what I'm here for. That's some really good loot. 30k. What a baller. Oh, that looks tasty right now. That looks very tasty. A dragon mace for 30k. I think it's time. The rune glove investment, the rest of my cash stack. Okay, we're looking good. Back once again into the wilderness for Calvarion, level 264. I can do this without taking any damage. A special attack? Oh, what a privilege. Beautiful. Basically, no supplies used there. I'm hopeful for the loot for this one as well. And it's 12k. I can't lie. <laughs> I didn't think I'd have to be buying my fire strikes back at this point of the challenge. Deranged Archaeologist, level 276. For a rune sword, probably one of the better drops, honestly. How much is that? 12k, I'll take it. Oh, it's time to treat myself. Some black dehyde, that's insane. Starting to look respectable, though. The King Black Dragon, level 276. I don't know, this thing is kind of tanky. Okay, we're starting to hit. I was getting worried for a second then. I'm really glad I bought the dehyde. That wasn't a formality. I went through so many words. For 30 law runes, add all the rest. 13k. Time to do my Hesphoria. I haven't done one of these in a long time. This should be fine. It is level 284. Bone crossbow is not really cutting it right now. I'm out of wines nearly. I need upgrades desperately here. Come on. Please, some seeds. Dwarf weed seeds. Next up, we're back in the wilderness for Spindle. Big spec to finish. Yeah, Steam Mace serving me well. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I see blood runes. Please be a few. 150. Oh, and restores. 41k by PB so far. That's really nice. Uh, I'm going to upgrade to the rune crossbow. I got a bit more tankiness going on and some definite upgrades from that money because you know where we're going next. We're chilling in the corner. Hopefully Rex doesn't come over. Nice. Dagonoth Supreme, level 303. Runeite bolts for that. Okay. Prime is level 303 and Rex is level 303. So the order doesn't really matter that much. Easy does it. Any loot? Earth talismans. Are they worth anything? I promise you, being this cheap will pay off long term. Fire strike coping. Honestly, DKs is a joke with 99 defense. I didn't realize how little these things actually hit on you. All right, give me a B ring. No. Zamorak Brew. That's not great. 47k. Okay, I changed my mind. These are 12k each. That's the savior. Ragdoll Simulator, level 305. For air runes. Seracnis, level 318. Tell you what, these D base is carrying me. Very humble. Rune Medhelm. Next up is Artio, but the hardest part of this is finding a world. These mid-level bosses are all about leveling up. It's important I keep the momentum. Right, come on. Give me something big. I need to build the bank right now. Look, you what, bro? Oh, my. Limpwort roots. Lim I'm, and I'm, I'm still in the phase of taking the big bones because I'm broke. Right, next up, it's Ruby Bolt season. They're so cheap. 
I'm pinning a lot of my upgrade hopes on this next one. We're not looking too hot right now, and there are some big boys coming. Scatizo, level 321. I swear to God, this boss without an arc light is annoying. Come on, what are we seeing? Please, something good. Soul runes. Oh, no. That's not making me happy. It depends how many there are. 450 of them. Wait. Oh, the clues. The clues. 100k. That is huge. And two clue scores to do it as well. I'm going to allow myself to do the clues because they are like drops. Money. That white stack. The first time I've seen it. It's so good. Oh, no. I got an emote clue with Barrow's gloves and a dragon med helm. Oh, this gives me a really big decision. I'll have to spend my entire cash stack to commit to this. I'm sending it. I'm going for it. The mace is gone. The D-med is purchased. Buying B gloves with my whole cash stack is very reckless this early in the challenge, but I'm committing to this clue scroll. I can't sell these back. That's the problem. I can sell the D-med back. Oh, I got the casket. The moment of truth wasn't worth it. Okay, I think it was. I think that was. Sweets are really good these days, aren't they? The dream. Maybe we'll be able to do the Inferno command this week. The gamble paid off, boys and girls. The gamble paid off. Nice. How much cash am I going to be on? 400k. I'm rich. All right. Hard clue. Here we go. Oh, my God. Nah. I can't, man. I can't. 900k. That actually changes so much. I can make a really deep run now. The boots, that's insane. What's it come out to? 1.2 mil. Right. It's time to get down to business. My favorite pastime is pretending I'm on Guild Lord Game Season 4. <laughs> yeah, Zalcano does have a combat level, by the way. Come at me. What? Dragon Pickaxe, let's go! <laughs> the dream's alive! How many mills? It's not even a mill. It's still good, I'm not complaining, I promise. It's still great. Oh, the money. This challenge would have been super easy if I could have just started off at the gauntlet. That's why I went for the combat level ladder, but it's finally time to do the normal version of the gauntlet. Hunleth is level 674. Big potential for the loot off the regular gauntlet, what are we saying? My luck's coming back against me now. I am not going to get anything out of doing this, but I have to come and do it. Jad is on the list for combat level. It's on the high scores. The big boy to stock Jad, level 702. It's funny to think that once upon a time this guy was the pinnacle of runescape but nowadays there are so many npcs ahead of him in combat level there we go a definite financial loss on that one but i do gain the fire cape which actually might be useful for any melee stuff i do from here actually wait no Tockle is loot, is it not? I guess I can just spend this on Onyx Vault Tips. Why not just buy them all? 84k, pays for the supplies. Now for a very conveniently grouped trio of the money-making bosses. Zulra, Vorkath, and Muspa. Only 65k? 150k, I'll take it. Oh, it really could have been better, couldn't it? The bosses are really starting to ramp up now. Mr. Duke, level 758. <laughs> I've got the leaf-bladed axe to try and do this. I got rewarded with mist runes. It gets worse. It really gets worse because I'm using up supplies on these kills. So I definitely lost money there. The days of easy money are over. I now have to come and take on RuneScape's raids. The first of which appears on the high scores as a level 150 TOA. Shouldn't be too bad, but with not many monsters and this is my best gear, it's not looking too good right now. More challenges are yet to come. This is why we're here. Two because one, 772 combat, a 150 TOA. This has the potential to be unbelievable right now any fair fault no even so the regular loot could be quite good oh please say these like snappy dcs no uh, torstals not great death runes decent 186k i'll take it big var dorvis the desert treasure 2 bosses 784 okay <laughs> it's been a while it's been a while I had to dip into the bruise of it oh, i got rewarded with some javelin heads the whisperer combat level 791 these bosses are harder than i remember honestly oh my god iron ore as well i'm going backwards leviathan level 798 please 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 Oh, no. Here we go. Back once again. The Corrupted Gauntlet. I don't spend any money, which is good. So, guaranteed profit. I, I feel like I haven't had that in a fair few things. Corrupted Hunleth, 894. Please, please, please. 
the chest. Oh, 172k. I'll take that all day long. Guess who's back? A 300 invocation TOA. And this was a steal. Full Ferox is actually only 600 and something K, which is insane. And it actually has a stab option. As for the rest of the game, we've got the Dragon Crossbow at this point, which is a bit of a luxury because I got those very nice drops earlier on. The TOA Verac Tech. <laughs> it looks so funny, man. The back, not too bad. Ruby Bolt's going in. I have to be so careful of the food that I have. Oh! Oh my god. Who could have seen this coming? Timkins Warden, combat level 1000. A genuine chance at riches here. Oh, that is pretty good. 493k. I needed that so badly. All right, selling off everything. 2.9 mil right now. New drip. Don't know how this one's going to go. Vasani's Nightmare, combat level 1024. Oh. <gasps> The sleepwalkers, should I kill them? My DPS is too low in the setup. Oh, it's stressful. I'm so washed. 12 prayer potions. Now, that's actually a pretty decent drop. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be taking every single one of those. And I'm going to be taking the big bones. 70k on the dot for Fasanis. I'll take that. The Chambers of Zarek. RuneScape's first raid. I'm here with a bit of a scuff setup, but a normal raid should be okay. It's the challenge mode that I'm going to have to worry about. Wow, I actually haven't been back to Chambers in a while. I'm reloading the raid like this. So cool. Got a nice easy layout, so let's get started. The thing is, once you get hold of these seeds and into a farming patch, then you kind of have infinite food. So I'm not actually going to waste any money on these raids. The question's more so whether I'll be able to complete them. What the hell is this? <laughs> what is this? I'm so confused. It takes you through the room. I feel like I'm playing an entire different raid. This <laughs> is actually crazy. I haven't done it in ages. You've got to love it. The scuffed raid setup. Look at me go, man. We're taking it old school. I'm literally just going to do one hand at a time. All the mage hand, then all the melee hand. It's <laughs> so weird doing it with the Halley, man. <laughs> it is super fun to use, though. I hate this raid so, so much. Oh, my God. Um... 1,043 combat. That was way too... That was way too close. I really disrespected it towards the end. I am rusty. I do get some loot, though. 33,000 points worth. Yes, the elite! That's what I needed. Oh, um, I can't do the elite. I don't have a farmer's straw hat. I barely scraped through that raid, and now I have to do a challenge mode. And I was silly for not investing this 1.4 mil wisely. Quick little shopping trip later. It's crazy how cheap pages are. Blood box and upgrade. I need these all for challenge mode raids. Yes, I've got to do every boss. I'm also going to grab a ring of the shadows off this guy for 75k, because it improves all aspects of my gear. Here we go. All I have to do is make it round to the farming room, and I can farm. Wow. <laughs> Let's get slapping this thing up. How how long is this going to take? Wait, what is this? I'm playing leagues again. Don't worry, everyone. I've got the poverty tech ready to go. Oh, actually here as well. Defense reduction. We made it to the farms. <laughs> Just about infinite food printer. In theory, any raid is kind of chill because I can just do it without taking any damage at all. Like, you don't actually have to use any resources. I was, uh... Just trolling a bit on that first raid. Here we go. The penultimate raid before I head into the inferno. Any purple to help me? Oh, it's time to sell absolutely everything and see how much I'm left with. What is going on there? 500k for that coal. Wow. CM's actually pretty good. And the gold as well. How much do I have to work with for the inferno? Let's see. 3.1 mil. Oh, I think the blowpipe is just out of budget. <sighs> This is the result. I'm hoping I have enough stuff to get me through this cape. Got the mage, we've got the range. I couldn't afford to get all sand foods, so we've got some poverty sand foods as well. The final challenge. Here we go. The Inferno. Mr. Zuck. I'll see you there. Don't you just love the MSB DPS? There we go. Inferno waves down with only two restores used, but the real challenge is ahead. I always love when the healer set up just like this. It's so beautiful. Here we go. Onto the big boys. Here we go. Tuskal Zuck, level 1,400. Right, I, I need to remember long range on my crossbow, otherwise I'm going to end up dying. Let's go, rubies. Right, this is always exciting. I hate MSB healers so much. What? There's no way they're back already. <laughs> the wheels are falling off. Oh, no. <laughs> Why do I always end up choking these challenges at the very last hurdle? Well, I hope you enjoyed that, I guess. Mission failed. We probably won't get them next time either. <laughs>